South Korea on Saturday ended a one-week period of national mourning for the 156 people who died in the crowd crush last weekend in Seoul. The memorial altars set up across the capital, 26 of them, were visited by almost 118,000 people, and many more went to other memorial sites throughout the country. To prevent a repeat of the Itaewon tragedy, the government's going to do a month-long safety inspection of regional festivals that are expecting big crowds. Shin Sebyuk has this report. During the one-week period of national mourning that ended Saturday, nearly 118,000 people paid their respects at mourning altars set up across Seoul for the victims of last Saturday's deadly crowd crush. At least 156 people died and almost 200 were injured, most of them in their 20s. The altar at Seoul City Hall was visited by a number of public figures, including South Korean President Yoon suk yeol and Seoul Mayor Oh se -hun. President Yoon paid his respects on each of the six official days of mourning. Among the foreign dignitaries who went were German President Frank Walter Steinmeier and former Japanese Prime Minister Taro Aso. On Sunday, President Yoon and First Lady Kim Gon Hee attended a memorial mass at Myeongdong Cathedral. This was the third religious service he has attended in memory of the victims following a Buddhist service this past week and a Protestant service on Saturday organized by the United Christian Churches of Korea. The morning altars in Seoul closed on Saturday as of 10 p.m. with one exception, the memorial at Duksapyeong Station near the site of the accident. It will stay open for another week until 10 p.m. on the Saturday the 12th. As of Sunday, funerals have been held for all 130 Korean victims, as have those for 17 foreign victims out of 26. Meanwhile, in the wake of the Itaewon tragedy, the central and regional governments are set to conduct a month-long safety inspection of regional festivals nationwide starting this coming Thursday. They will also look at conditions at certain supermarkets, stadiums and other attractions. In a meeting Sunday of the Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasures Headquarters addressing the Itaewon tragedy, Prime Minister Han dok said the government's top priority is to ensure safety in people's everyday lives. In addition to the festival inspection, the government will devise safety guidelines for events like Halloween that don't have official organizers. Shin Sebyuk, Arirang News.